Hi guys, it's Belle here and welcome back. And today it is Christmas in July week. That's how I like to think of it. The 25th of July this week is this week. So to me, this is Christmas in July week. And I want to do a few Christmas projects. Um, I would have probably done more, but between a few other challenges that are going on, uh, that's just not possible. So the main project I want to work on is a journal that is a gift. So this is a journal I brought years ago when I first started really getting into journaling um, to use, not to make. And for about four or five years now, I have used it as my Christmas journal. So this is where I put what ideas I'm giving people as presents. It's where I put my receipts during Christmas. It's where I write down any shops or online shops that people really like so that I can throughout the year keep an eye on them, look out for sales. I mean, I am I like to be prepped for Christmas, guys. Like if the end of November comes and I am not fully ready for Christmas, uh, that is very unlike me. In fact, I used to buy things in the January sale. <laughs> and then be ready for Christmas <laughs> before the Christmas ever came round. But I like my December to just be full of activities and festivities and visiting and all the fun stuff. I do not want the stress of making or buying gifts. So this is mine. Obviously, I cannot show you because, hold on, I'm trying to find a page. I think the middle page is one I haven't used. I cannot show you inside because it's full of names and Christmas gifts, but it's just simple. It's kind of um, papers and simple card and a few pockets. And it's got this pen tag. I've got a new pen now because I used to have a cute little Santa one, but that ran out. And it's just great. It doesn't matter if it gets a bit bashed up because it's a simple traveler's notebook. And I need to make one for my daughter because she is like me and she gets fully prepped. We are already asking people, what do you want? Think about it now. Get your list soon. And if I'm honest, I've already brought gifts and I'm going to make this one. Obviously, it's going to be gifted before Christmas. So I have this great um, card. I'm not sure what weight it is but it is quite good I have had this years and I've been hoarding it it is a collection by paperweight there is the number of it I have no idea if you can still get it and this one is um called Santa and Trees and it's got this lovely folk art look and this is what we're going to make the cover of the journal out now I'm going to make it just slightly wider than a TN mainly because I don't want to cut Santa's face. I'm going to cut part of his face, which just gives me all the sad feels. And this is going to be roughly eight and just over a quarter inches long. I need to do it this way. Um, yeah, so this may not be the... Oh my gosh, I can't even see it because the problem with a metal ruler is... It really is shiny. Um, yeah, I wanted to do lots of Christmas in July crafts and I've seen there was a Christmas in July challenge going around, which would have been a lot of fun to take part in. But as you will know, if you are on my channel and watch other videos, I'm doing junk journal in July alongside a mini challenge which Release the Crafting is doing, um, as well as just normal videos. So I'm not getting to do all the Christmas and July crafting, but we're going to fit in some. Um, who knows, next year maybe I'll do a whole month of it. So at least we only chop off part of Santa's beard. I don't feel too bad about that. So I'm going to have it so that we've got two Santas either side. So I'm just going to roughly, roughly eyeball it to about there. 
and then if I need to cut some more I can and then we've got this fun strip ba -ba -da. and we're going to fold it what I want to do actually is I think I want to score it in the middle um, just so I can roughly get a middle fold and again I'm eyeballing it Again, if you've been on my channel any length of time, you will know, say it with me, me and numbers are not friends. So if I can eyeball for as much as possible, and there's going to be a lot of measuring and cutting in this journal, then I will try to. So it's just slightly bigger than a TN would be, because a TN is normally about four and something. And this is four and three quarters, whereas I think a TN is about four and a half, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, so I'm just going to trim that edge because obviously it needs to kind of... But what I loved about this paper is that it does make it really easy because we have the two either side, the two centres to this side and then that bit in the middle which gave us a nice area to fold it now this is already quite strong but I actually want to add just a little bit of fabric one for the aesthetic of it and two because it will strengthen it um, and I do want it frayed on the edges so I need to kind of look at, it's not going to be perfect, but I need to kind of look at where I'm going to cut. So about there, so I'm just going to mark that with a pencil roughly, and then down here about there. It gives me a bit of wriggle room if when I cut it, it goes at a weird angle because some fabric does that. Now I'm trying to see where my pencil mark went to. Are you kidding me? Where did the pencil mark go? Ah, I see it. <laughs> my gosh, I must have done it so lightly that you literally can't see it. Do -do. So, I mean, I don't often add fabric to a, a sort of card TN cover but I did think like I said that it might strengthen it because she might be putting this in out of her bag um, and also it just adds a bit of fun to the journal and yes it's all creased and I really don't mind that so yeah it just adds a bit of fun to the journal it just strengthens it a little bit and I can actually put the ribbons between the card and the um, journal. Do you know what? I am going to possibly, am I going to iron it? I'm trying to think. I mean, it's a little bit messy, isn't it? I'm just trying to think. I might want that bit at the top and then these bits down here. Right, that works. I am going to just go around the sides with a little bit of walnut stain, not much. I mean, I don't know. The rest of you out there who make journals, hold on, let's bring you up a little bit, who make journals for other people. Hold on, guys. Yeah, the rest of you out there who make journals for other people who aren't in the craft community or aren't in the journal community, how do you feel when you're doing that? I mean, my family all see the journals I make and they obviously look at the journals that I like to do that are memory journals, you know, because I like to share the photos with them. We're going to use this ribbon as the tie. Um, so they like, I could put it all the way through, but then it's just wasting some of this beautiful ribbon. So I don't think I will. But I, they don't really, they don't really get it. Do you know what I mean? They don't really, I mean, 
they're not journalers and they don't make journals and they don't they understand that I do it and they kind of understand the idea of journaling in general but they don't really get the whole using a journal or why people kind of make them the way I do they don't kind of get that right I also need a little pen loop and I'm thinking I might just make it out of the same ribbon now I have got a pen and it's got jingly bells because you know I'm thinking this pen <laughs> it's almost longer than the journal and I need to make it so that the pen can go in thankfully it's not going to fall through I need to make it big enough that if there is a different size pen she can use that too and I think I'm gonna have it up near the top like so okay so I might put that there now what I am going to do right now guys is I am gonna stitch do you know what I'm going to do first? I'm actually going to glue. I'm going to glue these bits of ribbon just on here so I know they're in the right place. And then I'm going to stitch. Uh, yeah, so they don't really get it. They're like, oh, wow, amazing, Mum, and love your journals and all that thing, but um, don't really understand it. So when you start adding things that we would just add in journals just because... Um, it's a bit different when you're doing it for someone who really doesn't use a journal and therefore won't get all the different kind of things we might add. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go stitch around that, this, and I'll be back. Anyway, guys, there we go. And what I often like to do in my journals is do different coloured threads. So the outside has this beautiful bright red to pick up the red off centre. And the inside has this pale green. It might be nice with the thread too, but I don't mind. And then we've got this ribbon and our little pen loop where the pen can go through. Like so. That pen might be a bit heavy, but that's the pen I bought for it. So now we need to work out papers, guys. Um, so I have a whole selection of things. So first of all, I want to start with the actual pages that I want to use. And I normally average in a TN about 15 pages, give or take normal pages. I think I've just got under that here. And then obviously whatever other pages I've got. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm just going to, this is some writing paper that I picked up. and I really loved it for the red. And I also need to be checking the height of everything, I think. This is just, this is just perfect, I think. And then I'm obviously going to fold it. I have some lined paper here, which again can be cut down and slightly smaller. I have, this is actually a vintage piece of paper. When I say vintage, I don't know if it's vintage, but it's very old. And it's actually from a book from my daughter's childhood from when she was about three or four. Um, they say you can say vintage over 20 and she is over. Um, and I just thought it would be really lovely to put that in there. Um, okay, so and then we have this piece of paper that was actually created by her brother. So I thought that might be nice to put in there too. And it's got lots of writing space and then the red on the page edges. Um, let's have a look. Got some tea dyed paper, obviously. I just wanted a nice mix. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Some more tea dyed. Trying to think, I might have some green paper actually. I'm going to go check that in a minute. Seven. Eight. These all need to be cut down actually. Some I'm going to um, have folded, folded, 
and others. I think just another tea dye because we're going to use actually some scrapbook as well. Paper. So we don't want too much because the scrapbook, I've tried to choose scrapbook papers that are blank on one side so that when it looks pretty and also um, it's usable. So I'm just going to fold all these down. I might have to cut this. This looks a bit big. These are okay. And that one. And I have some mini little things. Um, and some, oh, I forgot about those too. I need to put those in as well. And I have a little bag and stuff. I've got all sorts of little bits and bobs here, actually, guys. Got all sorts that I want to add. Okay, so we've got those pages. And then I had to have says gifts to make it's from a little vintage christmas book spirit of giving it's got this gorgeous tree on the other side now there's not really a lot i need to really work out how wide this is that's what i need to do where did my other ruler go because oh, that would help wouldn't it guys so with this is with the fabric five inches without the fabric if we're just going to go to the end of the paper it's four and three quarters inches but i thought as this is all about obviously gifts i thought that was quite fun gifts to make um yeah my daughter's so like me we love gift giving like, it just brings us so much joy to find special gifts for people or make gifts for people. And it doesn't matter what it's for, birthdays, special occasions, we just love it all. And I had to add this Disney page, and it even says now we're in Wales, we do have family in Wales. Um, because it's got Mickey and my daughter is a humongous Disney fan I mean honestly I don't think they come much bigger they probably do I'm sure there's some of you out there but um yeah she is do you know what if I fold that bit over we can get more of Mickey and Minnie on there so Mickey's face is more visible um yeah she is it's my fault. I started her on Disney at a very young age. <laughs> and, I mean, it's now a bit of an obsession for her. She goes regularly to um, Florida and California and Paris and everything. Um, yeah, she's just known for Disney. And in her line of work, she is... A uh, also deals with it also okay so what else we got I got given this ages ago in a swap and I just thought it might be quite nice it's got a tree in it it's got some writing possibly we have some music paper because we can't not have music paper and it says wish you a Merry Christmas I mean it's one of my journals guys can't not have music paper got this fun doily which I thought would be it's red and green and dotty and I love so I want to put that in there and then I've got this now I don't actually know how big this is um oh this would just fit it's a card but it's also you can put like a voucher in there I thought this would look really good in the middle it's great for writing and stuff and I have a little paper bag. I mean, I don't know if I'll use that one. I'm going to put that to the side. So I've already got some extra bits. And then, guys, we get to look at some scrapbook paper. So, again, I have just pulled out some scraps of little papers like this, which is quite good fun. And if I fold it over, it's a little pocket that she can put little notes in or business cards. I mean, I'll have to tell her all that. 
Um, I can't even show her mine because she's in there. Well, I suppose I can show her because it's the previous year's ones. Um, I don't know if I've got room in mine actually this year for me. It's a little bit... don't want that one. Oh, I've got a house on the other side. That's quite fun actually, isn't it? It's got Santa there. That might be quite nice. I'll put that to one side and think about it. Uh, we've got this that just says happy happy Christmas but I don't know if I like it because I do have this one that says Christmas and holiday and reindeer and everything and I think I prefer that one so I need to cut this down first of all oh my goodness me need to cut it down So I would love to know if you celebrate Christmas or Yule, um, because I know not everyone does, but if you do, let me know what kind of person you are. Are you a, I leave it all to the last minute, I won't even think about it till December kind of person, or are you a, I like to be as organised as early as possible kind of person? <laughs> what kind of person are you? I would love to know because, as I said, we like to be organised um, with, well, just, just in general, I like to be organised with things. I'm going to use this to mark these other papers that I want to use in there because that way I can just chop them all at once. Oh, I got this cute elf one. This is actually part of the same kit that the Santa is and this one's Elves and Canes by Paperweight. Love it! The little elves. So yeah we just love Christmas and talking about Disney I mean my daughter's Christmas tree is Disney themed and she puts a giant Mickey normally on top of it and every year I try and buy her first of all all of my children every year get an ornament a special ornament from Disney and um, oh I cut that and I didn't need to did I? I was waiting and she also I try and pick her up something a bit special as well um, yeah it's a whole thing it's a family thing. We've got some of the green as well, which is quite nice. We haven't got as much green. And we've got this with all like bells and trees on it. But then I do like the candy cane one too. Maybe I'll use these two. Yeah, I think I will. So we'll just measure all these out and then we will be able to try to make sure that any writing on the papers we'll be able to start fitting things together and working out what I want to make pocket wise and things like that um so uh yeah so yes I would love to know as I said I've already got some bits ready for Christmas I was literally out today and picked something up so um yep I'm just going to chop those and then we'll fold and start putting the journal together. Okay, guys, so what I've done is I've folded two over because I want to make those with pockets. And the other ones I've marked where four and three quarters are because I want to score them on the scoreboard. Um, and then I'm going to have them as like pull outs and things so that should be four and three quarters and then i can make a pocket for that one this one needs that bit trimmed off but that's okay um where's my pencil mark on here i think that's it we're gonna say it is um yeah, we're going to say that is. It looks about right, and I need to cut that other piece off. 
and we're going to have these like I said to give her as much writing space so that she can use it for quite a few years to come um, and you can even put like your Christmas card um, list in here if you still send Christmas cards you can put all that in there you can put what you've received so that you remember what you've received from each year I mean I like doing that in my where did my phone folder go I like doing that in my October uh, my December daily but not everyone does a December daily um flyers for things you see that you may not have got around to doing that year but you might want to do the following year Things like that can go in these little journals, which I just think is fun. Now let's see. Yeah, it's just over. That's fine. Now I'm going to fold this up. I'm going to trim that bit actually first. Oh my gosh. Because we probably like that on our journal, but again... When you're gifting a, so a journal to someone who doesn't really, why was that not straight? Use journals. It can be a bit difficult to go, oh, but it's fun to have a barcode on there because they just look at you and go, is it though? Is it really? And you're like, yes. <laughs> oh, dear. But I want, again, to give some extra space extra writing that's very close to that edge and I'm just a bit worried about if I have to trim anything because I like to trim my pages so that they fit um, I know not everyone does but I'm not adding lace or anything to the edge and I really don't like to see it when a journal's got all the pages in and then because it gets thicker as it goes through the pages stick out more. I like I really don't like that that bothers me immensely now lace and fabric not so much tabs but if you're doing a full lace that can cover that effect or if you just don't add as many papers but I'd rather be more generous with papers guys and just trim the edges to fit than I would you know leave it like that like it, it would bother me so much so I like to trim my page edges so that everything fits. Now some of these I might make into pockets for her. And some of them might just be extra pull out bits. In fact I'm going to make a load of tabs. To go, nope, to go on here too. So that she can kind of section her journal if she wants to. Right, so we've got all our papers now guys. We need to start putting this together. So the first thing I want, this needs to be folded too actually, I need to see how wide certain pages are, I need that folded like so, right now in the front of here I'm thinking I might like this one in the front just because it's pretty now this again this needs to be folded I don't want to cut off some of her brother's work if I'd actually folded it differently I could have one flat page let's check yep one flat page and then this page can go up I love being able to use some of my son's work as well in my journals I mean, we've got that bend now, but again, as us as journal makers, we'd be like, that's just part of the charm. <laughs> but when you're giving it to a non-journal maker or user, it's like, um, that's wonky. No, it's not. It's perfect. Okay, so that's folded. Um, right, so I want this one first. And then I would like some tea dyed which again is too long. I need to cut all these. Okay, I'm just going to cut all these guys and come back to you. 
Okay, guys, so I cut them all to four and three quarters, even though we could push it to five, but I decided not to. So we're going to put that in there. And again, I just want to make sure. I mean, I did measure it, but you never know. Scrapbook paper. Some lined paper. Just trying to change it up a little bit. You know what, I really want this one because I'd rather chop away any of the other kind of papers and not her brother's paper. Let's put another scrapbook paper in there, shall we? Let's have one that's pockets. Do I like that next to that red? No, I think I like the elves. Doo -doo. Um, you can see I'm just roughly adding because I can always change it if I don't like things exactly where they are I can change it up so you know it doesn't bother me too much <laughs> I'm wondering actually if I want this at the front behind that no I don't want that one do I want instead one of the greens? I thought I had the green trees. There we go. That's where they are. I think I might want the green tree next to the red. And then where was that tree? Was it about there? Well, if it wasn't, it is now. Um, I may even have to take some pages out of this. Which interesting because as always I overfill do, do, do. that's just who I am there is actually another page that I really 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 want to add to this and I want this right in the middle like so so let's have a look at how that's looking oh it's just getting to that bit do you see this is what I mean how some stick out I really don't like that but I will trim it down slightly I don't mind if some stick out, but like it's just these ones really at the moment. Um, gotta fit in Mickey because we can't not have Mickey. So that's gonna go in there. And I also really wanna fit in this. I think this is gonna be too big. So I'm just gonna trim it a little bit anyway. Just in case it is too big, let's just trim it down. See my amazing measurement then? <laughs> Not at all. I could put that as the first one. Gifts to make because it kind of tells you what the. Oh, no, no, no. I've got it. Because, oh no, I thought you were going to see be able to see the gifts there. No. You can't, so I don't like it. Let's put a little dotty. Do I want the dot there? Yes. And now where am I going to put the gifts? Maybe here. Is there another place that I like it? Yeah. That will probably need to be trimmed. Okay, we need some music paper. So we're going to put that there. And I really wanted to put this bag in. Yeah, that can go there. And I've chopped both sides off that. Now, the one other thing that I wanted to add before I get to trimming things is... So, from that little workbook of my daughter's when she was about three, I also came across, there's some work still in there. It's got some blank pages at the end. And this is her writing. Look, yeah, she was about three or four, I think. Here is Roger's house. Here is Roger's dog. So, that's her writing underneath. But I thought this house, one, it looks like it's got a Santa hat on it. And two, you know, house, Christmas, Santa's coming to your house. So she may not, <laughs> she may not appreciate 
it but I just couldn't not add that I might even add it onto the front I couldn't not add that and if she wants there's actually writing space in places but yeah I just I don't know I just had to add that guys maybe that can go right on in the front what do we think here is Roger's house oh kind of love it but actually I think I think maybe this would work better <laughs> I'm just moving everything around now doily there I want to add this doily because it's just too cute can add that and then Roger's house here is Roger's house oh I'll be like, Mum, I told you to get rid of that book. I didn't need it. And I'll be like, what do you mean get rid of it? It's your writing when you were a baby. She'll be like, oh, my goodness, Mum. And then I'll remind her how just how much scrapbooking and like memory keeping she does too. <laughs> so, yeah, I really hate this. I cannot stand a journal that sticks out like that. It bothers me immensely. So what I'm going to do, guys, and this is how I start. I always start from the front first. And then I take the pages that aren't sticking out, although that one is. So I just start from the front and I'm like, okay, are these pages okay? And make sure they're all in line. So I'll use this green one as my guide and I'll only let something be a smidge over this green one. And it's best from this side because... That way, like on this side, it doesn't matter so much. But when you're looking at it and that's when I start going through, adding the papers, making sure to push it down. We're getting to the point now where it's going to start sticking out a little bit, because obviously when you then bind it, it pulls the paper in a little bit. And I go through this bit by bit. I'm not going to do it all. I'm just going to show you this bit. And then see this is sticking out, guys, and I can see it sticking out. That's when I go straight to my guillotine and I trim it. Now, I normally know what the size is. So this is four and three quarters. As you get nearer to the middle, it'll be smaller each time. But I only take cut it off by like a smidge each time. That'll go in. You see now it's not sticking out. So I'm going to do that all the way through, guys. And then I'm going to come back. All right, so that is it all cut. And you can see that it is now nice. There's no middle bit sticking out like a pyramid. Really bothers me. So let's now grab some wax linen thread. I'm pretty sure I'm going to use red if I've got some red. And I should have. I've definitely got green. I did think I've got red. Have I used it? No, good, good, good. I've got my red because there's so much green on this. It's nice to have a pop of red. And again, most people say you, you measure it out by going two and a half measurements of your journal. I like to do it three and a bit because one, I always seem to end up needing more. So I don't know why my measurements are out. And two, um... It means if I want to add dangles, and I know I'm going to add charms or dangles, I need some new uh, needles. I've only got these three left. I mean, I have had this kit something like four or five years, so they have got broken over the years. And I'm just doing a three-hole pamphlet stitch. That's my favourite kind. And now we're going to put the journal together very quickly. So this is where you want to make sure everything is exactly where you want it. It's my middle page. We've got these two pages. So I think I'm going to have one down the bottom of here. And one up the top. You really need to think about where your pages are going. And then this. Because once you sew them in, unless you're willing to unstitch everything, um, it's basically in, guys. And also, before you stitch your journal in, that is the time to add any stitching that you want. 
to the sides, to pockets, um, what they called vellum pockets. I think that might be a bit big, but that's okay. Anything like that, that's when you do it before you actually stitch your journal together. I cut a bit too much off that one, so it's going to need rescuing with some fabric. Uh, with some washi tape. Want that like that. Okay. Oh, it's so cute. And now I'm thinking I might have to make one for myself <laughs> because mine is basically full. I may just get away with being able to find some space in it this year, but after that, I definitely need a new one. Um. It's just been great because I can keep it with me. It's not like the most amazing journal in the world. It's just a good, handy little notebook that is always nearby that I can um, just grab at Christmas time, although I do have to often hide it now that everyone knows that it's my Christmas journal especially from one particular sun. <laughs> okay, so what I like to use is large paper clips. Because I often have things at different, um, different places in my journal, I just find these work better because, if I turn it this way actually, as you can see, it's got a lot more, rather than a clip, it holds a lot more in place. So that's just what I prefer to use. Um, and these are easy to pick up, these novelty large paper clips. So that's what I prefer to use. Now, I'm not even going to measure this because, again, it's me. I'm going to use my awl and I'm roughly going to put a hole roughly where I think the middle of the journal is. And be careful with your hand when you're doing this. And then I'm going to roughly do one about an inch up from the bottom and exactly the same on the top. Now, five hole pamphlet stitches are often more secure, but to be honest, I prefer working with three hole one because I hate binding journals. So the less I have to do, the better. And two, I haven't found a problem with them. So this is now going to go into my journal. And I'm now going to move this and hold this in place because we are literally going to put some holes through the journal onto the other side. Oh, see, almost got my finger there, guys. And it's right in that middle. And then I like to start in the middle. like so. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put my ribbon through here because it's getting on my nerves a little bit and I know once we start stitching it's really going to get on my nerves if it's in the way. Okay that's better. Okay so and then you leave a good tail. So I like to think of if I'm adding charms what kind of length do I want it to and then I tend to tuck this underneath the paper clip too to just keep it out of the way so I've gone through the middle to the outside let me move my all before I stab myself again and I'm going to come up through the top all the way through and there are several ways you can do um, a three hole pamphlet this is just my way then I'm going to cut or this is the way I prefer then I'm going to come back in through the middle, being careful not to put your needle through the thread. Because if you put your needle through that wax thread, it causes all sorts of problems. And then in through the bottom. This is probably the easiest one I've done on camera. Saying that now the needle won't come through. And then what I like to do is firstly tighten it. And then I like to take my needle and put it through this top bit just underneath the thread. 
and then put this loose thread and again put this through on the other side that's what I like to do let me move my needle and then I'm going to tie a knot make sure that's nice and secure like so Ta -da! and we have our stitching now I could put some lace down there I probably won't now I like to go through and the thing is on this side it's fine the papers are all kind of lying that side but I like to just smooth down and again I know a lot of you would have made travelers notebooks but there'll be some new people hi hello if you are so I like to smooth it down by the spine and it's especially important for all the pages that are on the other side of that middle um, in the middle of the stitching so just smooth them down like so. I love the fact I've put that in there she'll probably be like uh, mum <laughs> I'll be like mum's your baby one <laughs> okay and we've got this in the middle now this is the bit that's really important I'm going to push it over and really press that down to give it um, to make it easier to open and close of course don't pull too hard but I just like to pull slightly just slightly, then press. See, she's got all this writing space on it. And it's her little work. Here is Roger's house. What's Roger going to get for Christmas? Actually, on the other page of that workbook is, here is Roger's ball. So maybe Roger got a nice football or something for Christmas. <laughs> oh, dear. As parents, hey, what we like. No. yeah I kept it initially the book because when she went through all her memory stuff she was like no mum I don't need this stuff and I was like oh and then I saw it had paper in it and I thought oh I can use the paper in my journals and I love adding things like that because it just makes my journals feel so much more unique and personal especially my um personal journals uh, but then I saw that and I just couldn't get rid of any of her handwriting now you can see that's kind of damaged there that's fine because I'm going to stick something on that and we have this paper I could actually make that paper longer if I wanted to it's fine and then we have this one and there we have it guys a basic traveler's notebook all right um, with its little boo there's your basic traveler's notebook obviously that's not the only thing we're going to do to this however I'm going to leave it there because this is already a long journal and look her little her little pen can go in here doo, doo, doo. Yeah. Um, although that's going to fall I feel like it's too top heavy I might have to get her a different pen where's my pen for my journal um Oh, I don't know. It doesn't matter. So, yes, we're going to leave it there for now, but there will be a part two where we're going to put some pockets and a few little bits of decorations. And obviously, we've got the cover to finish and some bits for the bottom. So that's it for now, guys. I hope you liked this. Um, I hope it may gave you some information information inspiration on another way you can use your journals guys this is a really nice size actually i like this size i think better than a traveler's notebook and it's only about a quarter of an inch bigger than the usual traveler's notebook that i make and i really like the fabric on it so i think i might do that on a traveler's notebook too okay that's it guys please do like and subscribe if you haven't already those likes really do help my uh, little channel grow and i deeply appreciate it and um, wherever you are in the world, I hope you're having lots and lots of crafty fun. Bye for now, guys.